everybody, this is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sellier Public Library. And for this week's tech video, uh, I'm going to show you an app called Headspace. Headspace is uh, one of the, the newer uh, so-called relaxation apps that are kind of getting really popular on mobile devices. And what they do is they just kind of uh, give you a suite of different things uh, to try out during the day just to kind of help you calm down, help you relax, even help you sleep at night. Uh, these days people are a little bit stressed and so these apps have gotten really popular lately and Headspace is, is really the most popular one. So down there in the bottom right you can see that orange circle. That's the icon that you're looking for in your app store. So when you tap that to open it up, it's going to bring you to like a today, uh, things that it has set out for you today. So as you can see, uh, depending on what kind of day it is when, or what time of day it is when you open it up, it'll kind of lead you through the day uh, with a few activities that it, it, it kind of suggests for you to do. Like for instance here, uh, since it's early in the morning right now, it's kind of just showing me some things to do to start out my day. Just kind of take some breaths and relax, kind of center myself. Uh, then down in the afternoon, just kind of a pick me up uh, video just to kind of get your head on straight. And there's a little cactus. So, uh, you know, I'm already feeling a little bit better just seeing that little guy. And then down at the very bottom, it has a, a sleep uh, activity for me to try. So let's look a little bit more at, about the specific kind of things that it has for you to do and, and how they have them divided up. So down at the bottom you see the different sections. There's meditate, sleep, move, and focus. So if we go to meditate, this is just all of its different meditation uh, activities that it kind of has for you. Now you can choose between, uh, they have actual courses where it kind of takes you through learning how to meditate uh, even kind of getting into a little bit more uh, advanced meditation practices and it's full courses to kind of go through. Uh, but they also just have kind of quick uh, few minute long meditation sessions just in case you know you have a little break and you're just feeling a little bit uh, feeling overwhelmed like up there in the top left corner and you can kind of just go through those to, uh, to help out. So no matter what it is that's left you feeling overwhelmed right now just take a moment to yourself to pause undisturbed and so you know it's it's usually just like really calming voices and kind of just helps you to sit and and take a little moment to kind of get away from everything that's that's stressing you out these days and just help out a little bit during the day so the next section is the sleep section and this one is kind of really popular of what people want to use it for uh, there's a few different things that they have. They have actual sleep casts, which are just like podcasts, but usually just read by a person with a really uh, calm, soothing voice, just telling stories or just uh, giving info, just like the, the voice we heard in the last one. It's kind of a real calm, relaxing kind of voice to listen to. Uh, also has some meditation, uh, things like that, just to kind of wind you down a little bit. And then it also just has, uh, you know, just the normal, like, uh, things that people have been listening to forever just to try to go to sleep, uh, just sounds, uh, bird sounds, uh, forest, rainforest sounds, that kind of thing. So there's a whole lot in the sleep app. Generally people just put some headphones in, put these on before they go to sleep and kind of see how it helps you, uh, that night. So in the move section, this is kind of a few little workouts. Now they're not very strenuous. It's not anything like running 20 miles or lifting weights or anything like that. More of just kind of stretches, uh, just things that kind of get your blood moving a little bit if you've been sitting around at work all day, for instance, or if you're just waking up and you just want to get, get moving a little bit. Uh, just kind of quick, easy exercise that can you, you can do without any equipment just to kind of get you moving. And to be here and move your body, so let's make the most of it. Part one, mobility. So that's just kind of a little bit how that the, the workouts are set up. And the focus one, this is for uh, what you can use, say, when you're at work or if you're trying to do something, uh, say, get some stuff done, get some work on the computer, projects, anything like that. These are generally just playlists of music, uh, classical, things like that, or just kind of soundscapes just to kind of help you focus on what you're doing, kind of background noise. Uh, just to kind of cut out your uh, your intrusive thoughts that you may have when you're trying to do work and then all you can think about is other things. 
these are kind of set to make you kind of focus on what you're doing uh, at the moment. And that's really what this whole app is about. It's just a lot of meditation, a lot of just uh, centering yourself on yourself to kind of try and block out all of the uh, various things that people people are going through these days and, and kind of just trying to get you to, to, to sit in the moment and kind of relax a little bit. And like I said, these days, everybody can use a little bit of that. So uh, this one's called Headspace. There's, there's also a few other ones in the App Store. There's one called Calm. Uh, and, and, and there's some more. Really, if you just put in relaxation apps, you'll find a bunch of different ones. And whichever one works best for you is the one that works best for you. But uh, I hope that this was helpful, and I hope that maybe this can help some people out uh, de-stressing themselves. Uh, and if you have any questions like usual, you can always ask us. Thanks a lot.